Hi, I will show you how to compress videos on an iPhone or an iPad. By compressing a video you will reduce the size dramatically while the compressed movie will still look good. I will place the app's link below for your convenience. So, grab video compressor for iOS on the App Store. It's free and works on iPhone and iPad. Launch the video compressor app and tap the video you want to compress and shrink. At the video preview screen, select choose to open that video into video compressor. Next, use the slider at the bottom of the screen to adjust the video compression based on target file size of the compressed video. The further the slider moves to the left the stronger the compression and the smaller the resulting file size of the video will be. When you get a suitable compression target file size of the video, select Save in the upper right corner, and Video Compressor will go to work on the targeted movie file. This task can take a while depending on the size of the video selected on the iPad or iPhone. When completed, the compressed video will be saved to your iOS camera roll. Video compressor is very effective and you can easily shrink a very large high resolution video down to a remarkably small size. You may shrink a video to 4% of its original size using video compressor on an iPad, taking a 150 megabyte video down to a mere 6 megabyte. Of course this comes at a cost to the video quality, since compressing video reduces the resolution and definition of any video, so use the slider and target size to suit your needs. The ability to compress video to shrink down size and reduce quality should probably be built directly into iOS so that iPhone and iPad users can do this directly in iOS without requiring third-party apps. A similar feature exists native in macOS video encoder tools, so perhaps we'll get such an ability in iOS down the road too. Keep in mind if you use iCloud then you should. Then if you try to email a very large video then you should be able to share it with MailDrop too. And of course if you're nearby to the person you want to share a large video with, then sending over airdrop from an iPhone to a Mac or other device is a viable solution too. As you can see, now that the task of shrinking the video is completed, I have two copies of the video that I shrunk, so I may delete the original if I choose to. Since iOS devices come with a fixed amount of storage, deleting unused apps and videos becomes a necessity. If you would like to see more videos related to Macintosh computers or Apple products in general, please go to my channel, Addicted to Macintosh, and look at the playlists. There are many videos on many different Apple products, including Mac's High Sierra. You can also check my bootcamp playlist. There are many videos on how to install Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10 on a Macintosh. Check it out. A to Macintosh YouTube channel. Hundreds of Apple related videos uploaded. Thank you for sharing, subscribing, liking and viewing.